Matt's driving this episode. Yay! Ryan gets to just chill here, relax. What's I'm, going on with this thing? Why is this? It's sparkling many colors, Matt. Is that your marijuana pen? Dude, is that your is that your weed pen? Yeah, but it was sparkly. You know, that's rab- that's just an advertising tactic to attract the children, <coughs> Ryan. They're trying to get children on drugs. Where's my water? <laughs> where are we where are we where are we going? Do we want to go to Colorado Springs? Are we just gonna make that drive without yeah. making any money? Do we want to try to at least pass through certain cities and then check out what jobs yes, they might because have? Because then maybe we like if we go to Durango, then maybe we can get a job up to Pueblo or yep. something. Yeah. I like the way you think, McGee. And uh how do I chart a course? Ad pen. Boom. Okay. There. That's all. That's it? Yep. Now go back and look at the map. Let's drive, baby. You will need to get some gas, Matthew Watson. And I'm guessing once we're just in the general vicinity of that just city in general, then we can just pause it and look at the job market. Yeah, once we're, once we are, I think we have to go to a, a place like this. Okay, so start start us off. I'm just gonna do a little, little backing up here, you know. Of course, a little bit of that. Oh, oh, a little a too fast. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. What did it start with? Started with, with a kiss. kiss. Now, now where are we? Splish splash. Yep. Kabosh. Yep. <laughs> Dude, have splish, you seen the, the Weird Al Yankovic movie? I have. Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. I just saw it for the first time yesterday. In and fact, I, Ryan, I, I watched a, it in I Idaho. A, I had a fun time watching. It. I loved it. It was it was goofy. Uh, and going into it, I didn't know that it was going to be like, I thought it was actually going to be a more serious, like, kind of biopic. I didn't know they were <laughs> really? going to take all the creative liberties. Yeah, it was very funny. I thought it was really good. My favorite bit, of course, is just like, spoiler alert. Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. When it turns out that Michael Jackson makes a uh, a, a parody. Of, beat it. Of beat it. <laughs> beat it is, is actually a parody track of Weird Al. <laughs> that, that was really funny. I also just loved just Madonna as this kind of mustache twirling villain yeah of the whole thing did he he didn't actually date Madonna right no I think both of his I think he did do a show the day both his parents died of carbon monoxide poisoning what unless someone tricked me on Twitter once again did his parents actually die of carbon monoxide poisoning weird Al Yankovic's parents yeah uh I can check for you buddy because I saw uh, the tweet about the movie, <laughs> and then someone pointed out that like that part was real, and he still did do a show that same day. And then all the responses were like, "His parents didn't die in the movie, though." Okay, then maybe they did actually die in real life. I don't even know the answer, man. I'm looking it up. Uh, parents, uh, they both died on the same day. Uh, found dead in their home, apparent victims of carbon monoxide. Yeah, carbon monoxide. So apparently he did a show this the day he found out they died still. Which is crazy. I love the whole- That's awful though. That is awful, losing both your parents at the same time. That's, that's truly, truly tragic. And he's such a, he's such a joyous man. I will say though- We met him once at the Grumps office. We did meet him. He was very nice. Nice little handshake. What a nice little handshake. Nice little- Nice little eye contact up close. He even said my name. What? Matt, he went, you're Matt Watson. From Super Mega. And you're Ryan McGee. You did the Shane Dawson video. (laughs) I'm a big fan. I just said, hi, I'm Matt. And he said, hi, Matt. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Have you ever thought about playing Train Simulator on this channel? Yeah, what? Us pulling a lever that goes go and another that goes stop and then one more third one to blow the whistle? That's the thing about train sim. You know, we still could do flight simulator. I, you know, you know what I have, right? At home? I have the full setup. Really? I've never taken it out of the box, but I have the full setup. Like of like the control panels Uh and all that? Of like the the stick and the, all of it. I bought one of those setups because I was going to try to play flight simulator and then I was like, oh, this is like actually learning how to fly a plane. This is very tricky. I love that you went all in. Ju- you're like me. Whenever you get into something, you just go all in and you like commit. Yeah, because I get excited about the idea and then either am pulled away from the idea slowly, like lose interest or realize it's it's not as feasible as I thought. But the idea is beautiful Flight in the zone. moment. I'm sure it's a great game too. People love it. 
Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. One, one, two, you know, it would whatever. be fun. Oh, okay. It would be fun if I actually did learn how to play it, <laughs> and then we could do some type of video where it's like a rescue video where you have to land it and I have to try to guide you on how to do it. Whoop whoop, pull up. Whoop whoop, pull, pull up. up. That's such a haunting fucking sound. Just because in a lot of the plane crash, like flight black box recordings, that's like the last thing you hear. And the guy's goofing around. What Whoa. does this mean? What am I supposed to do? Pull up. Oh. Pull what? I think he's saying up. I, I don't know what he means by that, though. Pull what up? Dude, I fell asleep on our flight, and uh, I had, like, just YouTube videos auto-playing, and I woke up, and, and it was playing in my ears just, like, one of those, like, YouTube videos that's just a retelling of a horrible plane crash. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Did it have the sound effects where it was just like, whoop, whoop? <laughs> Uh, it was just at the narration part when I heard it. Oh. Well, it, did, it didn't have all the screaming and the. Uh... Some people like to put in, you know, some some storytelling through audio. No, this person was respectful. It's a channel I like watching. Uh, 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 fuck, what's it? I haven't watched them in a in a minute. You but... might want to get some gas up here. Yeah, it's on route. Don't tell me what to do. It's just a suggestion, buddy. Disaster breakdown. That's the channel. Pretty awesome. Durango, I've seen that movie. Good movie. I love Durango. I can't tell if, like, the mic got fucked up and my audio is so fucking... I'm, I'm t I, I think it's fine. Oh, fuck, Ryan. I was... I was looking away at the computer screen. Oh, not much damage, though. Just a little bit. Just don't, just don't back into anyone now. God, driving a truck is dangerous shit, man. I'm sure it's fine. I just want the sun to come up. It's they just too look really tiny from where I am. Oh, they're good. They're good. Speak. Yo mama. Yo mama. Yo mama. Yeah, it's good. I am going to get some gas, though. And when I say gas, I don't mean marijuana, as the rappers use the term. You know, pull up with the gas. Why do they call it that? Why is it called gas? Um. They also call it diesel. Because it's stinky? Gas isn't stinky, though. Gas smells delicious. And I, and I know that because I sprayed it all over my fucking car the other day because I, uh... I prepaid inside uh, for the pump, thought that it was done, pulled the thing out, and it was just spraying, and I couldn't oh stop God. it. I couldn't stop it for some reason. Like, it was locked still until, like, it used it all. So I just stood there holding it while it just sprayed all over my car and all over the ground. <laughs> How much gas? Uh, a, a decent amount. It was, it was, it was a, a gallon? No, not a gallon. But it okay. was, it was just a, a steady for maybe about eight seconds. Damn. Okay. You fucked around and found out. I fucked around and found it found out, brother. Is it Hey pretty lady? Do gas prices reflect in the real world in this game? Like with inflation? I don't know. Because I mean 515. That's diesel price though. Isn't that usually like the most expensive? Yeah. When I was on tour, I had to only use diesel. And you know what sucks about diesel pumps? They don't have the lock. So you have to stand there and you have to hold it the whole time with your finger on it. Remember when we were on tour? Oh, yes, I remember on tour and, uh... Don't want to put any blame on anyone, of course, because it's it's no one's fault at the end of the day. I, Real, well, it, it, it is. It was someone's fault, but but it was such an innocent mistake. Uh, it's something I could have seen either one of us doing easily. Oh, yeah. It, it, let's just say a certain someone put regular gas into a diesel tank and it, it might have... wasn't either of us. Might have cost fourteen to $16,000 in repairs. And it made us have to rush to go to one of our shows. Oh, because it was on the road to a show we had that night in Florida. Yep. And we still made it. We had to rent cars, load the merch in the back, and, and we made it. It all worked out. But, you know, I feel really bad because uh, said person felt felt horrible about that. And they, like, took it, they took it very personally. Like, they, like, they really beat themselves up over it, and I felt bad. Okay, can I, is there, can I view the job market from here now? Are we in a... We're in Durango. Okay. Oh, all right. It's not, well, no. Um, this is just sh okay. Well, it. Well, click oh, on Durango. Click I, on Durango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. One goes to Wyoming. Ooh. Montana. Nope, that goes through Utah. Do that one. That hey, one's perfect. Look at that. That one goes through the mountains and shit. That it's and then just we go what we right need. into Wyoming, and no choice but to go into Montana after that, Matt. This is a long one though. This next job is gonna 
It's the second highest paying job, at least starting from Durango. <laughs> it's now, a good job. Now, wait, wait, wait. But let's let's also look at maybe some other options. Okay. Maybe, maybe jobs from Alamosa. We, oh, God damn We it. can't look at those jobs until we go to that city, right? No, but look, freight market just shows me everything. Oh, until we're at that city, I see. We can't... Until we visited the city. We can't accept jobs from cities we haven't been to. Yes. Gotcha. Then we might get, honestly, might get a much better one in Denver that's higher paying. That that is so, so maybe it's worth taking, like, do any of these go to Denver? Like a tiny one to Denver, you know? We could, uh, nope. Nope. Looks like we've got Cheyenne. That's a pretty good one. Or Gillette. That one's good. Look at that. Still, we go through the, click on it again. Still goes through the same route of the mountains. We go through Colorado, but then we get to choose where in Wyoming we get to go to from there. Genius. Let's uh, take some used packaging. What do you say, brother? I'm down. I'm down to clown. We're doing it. In Watson Town. Hey, I'm down to clown in McGee City. So that made it work. You know, McGee City. Yeah, but I wasn't making Watson rhyme with. Um, I, I was just in my head because you said clown. Well, because you said you said down to clown. In Watson Town, so it does rhyme. Not guess, Watson in town, I guess but it's like a, 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 yeah, you know, just just something to think about. Maybe next, you know, next time you mm -hmm. make make rhymes. Okay, buddy, you ready for this? Watson is so epic. Dude, dude, you're killing me with kindness today. You're flatterizing That's me. That's what you must do to your enemies. What? What? <laughs> Kill him with kindness. You gotta tell, you gotta, you know, talk them up. You're so awesome. And then when they least suspect it, go behind their backs and talk about them. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. Not, not a bad tactic. Learn that one. It's a, it's a, it's an old, uh, Jim, Jim the stepdad s secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he taught me that one well. How is Jim doing these days, man? I guess he's doing a lot better. Yeah? From what I've heard. Yeah? Not like he was doing, like, awful, but he's uh he's doing well. He's alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. He's uh, breaming with, with possibilities in his life. You know? Yeah, new job. New job opportunity. New, new wife. <coughs> Not a new wife. Still uh -huh. my mom. He's still my stepdad. Damn it. And we're going to used packaging. Yeah, we're taking the job. Ooh, look at this, dude, at the fucking Home Depot. Ooh. Okay, look at this guy right here, man. Okay. He's yelling at someone on the phone. He's pissed, man. No, there's a truck with flames. What the fuck is this? Did you see my pants anymore? Oh, my oh, God. Justin, I, ha I, I haven't seen the pants. That is a big penis. Justin just sexually harassed us. Yeah, he walked in with <laughs> no pants or underwear on. It was dark, <laughs> but I could see the outline of his, of his cock and balls. You what? Found Where were they? Someone hit him in the bathroom. Oh. Oh. It was probably Jim. Probably Jim, yeah. Why do you think Jim got out of here so quick today? Yeah, exactly. He's pranking me. Well, have fun recording. Of course, bro. Thanks, man. You want to come over later and watch Grey's Anatomy? Tonight? I'm I'm good, man. Come on, man. It's Grey's Anatomy. No, no, dude. I think I think I'm just I'm gonna You love Grey's Anatomy, man. I've yeah, I I don't know who told you. I've never seen a single episode. What? Yeah. Well, I okay, I've seen parts of an episode. I think my dad. And, uh, no, you love Grey's Anatomy. And my dad and my stepmom. I've always dad. known this about you. Why? What do you? you now you're gaslighting me. The, okay, anyone else experiencing this Mandela effect? Of, for the a large part of my life, I know that Ryan connected himself with the Gilmore Girls and loving the show. Like <laughs> he attached it to his character. I thought he had Superman. a fucking tattoo of it on his back, but apparently on, on it's the, the Iron shoulder? Giant. Yeah, what is this? What happened? Am I going crazy? I do love Grey's Anatomy. I'm not even gonna lie. My mom watched it a lot when I was a kid. What about the episode where the guy, uh, the person gets hit with, uh, by the by a car? Or what about the episode where the main character d d dies? Or the episode where he gets shot and dies? Did I explain any episodes? Well, there is an episode where a main character gets hit by a car and dies. Okay. Is it, what else? Uh, I'm sure someone in that show does get shot at some point. It's kind okay. of a dramatic show. It's a good show. I like it. I'm not my mom. I have nostalgia for it, but. Then when I went home over Christmas, my mom was like restarted. Someone get a illness? Yes. Yep. I'm just kind of trucking along. We haven't know? talked about this. 
I, like in private at all either. I just want to know your opinion on it. Yeah. So what's what's this whole uh, Elon Musk LARPing as a child thing? What do you think about it? His alt Twitter account that people discovered at supposedly? Yes. Is that real? Has it been proven to be 100% accurate? Well, because it does showed- have an alt, but who knows if that's the actual account that it's linked to, you know? It could have been someone that just... Yeah, the alt, it's the same profile picture. It's mm-hmm. the full res version. So, I mean, <laughs> showing him his boss. Here's the thing. <laughs> is people wouldn't be able to pull a full res version from the screenshot where it it shows Elon's like secondary account but yeah. that has the f- why did it, oh fucking shit whatever uh i don't know and and it is it is weird it's very weird Elon also uh bought uh or took the twitter username e from someone that that had it just had twitter turn it over didn't it get hacked a bunch cuz it was such like a like a lot of people wanted it so like a lot of it was it was seen as a if if like someone's twitter handle is wanted they'll they're likely to i guess yeah because you could sell you could sell twitter accounts that have good names like that for a lot of money i learned that when i tried to buy at matt oh well nine million dollars yeah he when i oh i wanted to buy mattwatson.com uh which you know god forgive me you know that's such a (laughs) such a rare domain name uh, and the guy wanted one million dollars for it. He's like, "That's what it's worth." Sorry, buddy. Uh, okay, first of all, it's I, I'm. Thank you for I guess inflating my ego a little bit by thinking that a, a website with my name could be worth a million dollars. But it's just a dick move. I, I guarantee he just he's sitting on this website. I asked to buy it. He looks me up. He's like, "Oh, this guy uh has some subscribers on YouTube." Yep, a million dollars. Really rubbed me the wrong way. Do you think he thought there was a reality where? you would say okay or do you think yeah he was just like fuck you a a youtube because throwing out a million dollars as an offer sounds like a big fuck you it does because like honestly like i i would have paid some like some money for it not a fucking million dollars but like name matt watson maybe it was his website he take took offense yeah just because you're more famous you think that you can have well i bought the website fair and square and you're gonna you'd have to buy it off of me for a price i set sir it's like I could also, uh, you know, then if I just throw my middle initial in, then it's uh, eleven dollars a year. True. So a lot better for you, monetarily speaking. I don't know. The million is still kind of catching my eye here. It's not a bad price. <laughs> uh, but yeah, kind of a jackass uh, move there. But I, I, I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he's like, YouTube make a lot of money, a million. Like, d- dude, YouTube doesn't make that much fucking money. No. Not for us. Plus, what people overlook, as as YouTubers such as us, is is, you know, most people, you know, channel our size. Yeah, you know, they make a lot of money, but we gotta split it. Yeah, and and the fact that Super Mega is a nonprofit organization. Well, that just means we get great tax breaks. <laughs> Imagine if we said like, we're making these let's plays for you. It's for it's for the good of of. The people. <laughs> it's a nonprofit. Or- <laughs> with the dude. Dude, I'm having a hard time going up this hill. That's a personal problem. This is this is full steam ahead right here, by the way. I just don't want to get into another situation like that one time, remember? Oh, where we're going up the hill. I, yeah. I'm just having to hold down the gas because I'm scared if I let it go for one second, you know, we there goes the momentum. We should probably upgrade our truck's engine. Get a little more powerful of an engine. We you should, we should upgrade our fucking truck, dude. And we're going through the mountains right now and don't even get to enjoy the fucking beauty. Eat a lot of peaches. Move into the country. Gonna eat a lot of peaches. Peaches come from a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. If I had my little way, I'd eat peaches every day. Love the presidents of the United States of America. God bless them. Watch hey. out. <laughs> this guy's this guy's this testing. Guy, they this have guy's another testing you. They have a great song called uh, "Some Postman" that I really like. Oh yeah, wait a minute, Mister nope, Pope. Not that one. Okay, as a better. I song felt on. like it wasn't, but I had to go for it. You know. Imagine being tailgated by an eighteen wheeler like this <laughs> on a mountain road. 
there's obviously room for you to move over. It's uh, it's about it. It's about a don't. postman that steals love letters so they don't get delivered because he wants to read what's in them. Some postman it grooving to all our love letters. It's a good song. You know, Ryan, people have been begging for a Ryan McGee mixtape on Patreon. Have they? Yeah, where is it, man? Well, just gotta make just, just one, Ryan. Just one. Okay, you for think the one people, will do? man. Put some put some good grooves in there. One for the people. Yeah, one for the people, man. Okay, okay. It's easy. Just you know, what, what do you pick. do? How do you do? Just do it on Spotify and share the. Uh, I started doing. I do Apple Music too now because uh, people have requested. You know, I don't use Spotify. I use Apple Music, so I make the playlist in Apple Music and Spotify. Uh, and apparently, still not good enough for some people. Where's title? Where's title. Deezer? Where's YouTube Music? You know, and it just really fucking pisses me off. The fucking nerve on some people. I think it should just, it's just like mainly Apple Music and Spotify. I also list out all of the tracks on the Patreon. So, like, if you don't use Spotify or Apple Music, you could see all the tracks. Create and, the playlist yourself. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just make it, I, I do a like, silly little cover and I throw the, the songs in and then I, I put it on Patreon. There's, uh, I think eight. Eight? <coughs> I've done eight on Patreon. I, I, it's about time for another one. I'm trying to do one a month now. Ooh. And I just make it basically just what I've been listening to lately. Uh, really no no specific order or, or, you know, anything. I mean, obviously, this last one spanned Mine more than just lately. The entire fucking pink discography. <laughs> Ryan, you know, if it's what you've been listening to. <laughs> you yeah. said, so what? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves and I don't need you. And guess what? I'm, I'm having, having more fun, fun. And now, now that we're done, done I'm gonna show you tonight. tonight. I'm, I'm alright. Guess what? what? I'm so what? Yeah, I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves, and I don't need you. Guess what? It's good shit. I love pink. Pink's awesome, dude. Pink was even in the fucking SpongeBob sk- special, dude. Remember <laughs> the scurvy song? Yes. That song is good as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I genuinely love that song. It brings back such good memories. I haven't used it in a Format 24 video. I guess I just lost my husband. husband. I don't know where he, he went. went. I've got a brand new attitude. I'm not going to pay his rent. Rent. Some, whatever yeah. the fuck the lyrics are there. I think I fucked that part up. So, something we're all gonna get it. We're all gonna have a fight. Uh, so what? We get in trouble. We're all gonna get a fight. No, 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 no. We're all gonna get in a fight. Uh, so and then there's a, uh, you know, I, I, I really enjoy Avril Lavigne myself. Avril Lavigne's great. You know, I don't approve of her marriage. Her marriage. Well, she was married to the guy from Sum Forty One, and as a big Sum Forty One fan myself, you know. I don't know the details of why they got divorced, but I'm just going to blame it on her. Uh, <laughs> Did, was their music bad after the divorce or something? I haven't listened to any modern Sum 41. What? I thought about getting a Sum Not 41 awesome. leg tattoo to look fucking... This is this is cool. Not Have awesome. we driven through a tunnel like this before? I don't think so. I don't think so. They're stepping up their game here, dude. Basketball, they're playing b-ball. Outside of the school, when a couple got... That were, no good. <laughs> Help! <laughs> okay, there we go. There's Justin in his little car. Dude, Justin's okay. In the back of that car. More and likely. look at the cops arresting uh, some people here. What's there's a crime scene? Looks like in these new cities, man, they've really upped like what's going on here. You know? Yeah. Well, we're we're in Colorado. It's the highest crime rate in the United States. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> they have the highest altitudes. Oh, look at this fucking train, dude. I'm looking at it. Let's Double call the decker. boys. Let's run a train. I still want to get hit by a train in this game, dude. People in the comments were saying, oh, it's not possible, but... I was hoping it wasn't going to do the thing trains do in real life sometimes, where they just stop. Can you, you're... Matt, can you and I do a cover of a song put on YouTube and make a really, like, 90s-esque music video? And when I tell you the song, I don't even know if you'll even remember it. I can't even remember the I know every name. song on Earth, Ryan. I want to stand with you on a mountain. I want to bathe with you in the sea. I want to live like this forever until the sky comes down over me. 
I know every song in the world except for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Can we please do a cover of it and put it on Super Mega? Dude, and make of it course, Super man. Ass? Please. Yeah, dude. Please. What, yes. Whatever you want, man. I want to do a cover of Big House by Audio Adrenaline. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of room. A big, big table with lots and lots of food. Remember that one from church? Yeah. Uh, and also, I bet people remember uh, the end of the episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>